Hi everyone, this is Cricket Song with Lunar Wisdom and you're watching another Tarot Spreads video. We're going to be doing the spread called Partnership with the subtitle Conflict Resolution. You can find this tarot spread in this book, Illustrated Tarot Spreads, by Phil, uh, 78 New Layouts for Personal Discovery by Filner and Schreiner. And this particular spread is on page 45. This is the spread we're doing. Partnership, Conflict Resolution. It's six cards laid out in this way. So card number one is here, and this represents the circumstances of our relationship. Card number two is right here, and this is what do I contribute to the relationship. Card number three, right here, what does my partner contribute to the relationship. Card number four, this one right here, what do I need to do or what can I do for the relationship. Card number five, what will my partner do for the relationship? And the final card, card number six, how will our relationship continue? So right now I'm showing you the layout and I'm gonna flip over the cards. These are the Rider Waite cards um, and then we'll compare it with the Green Witch Tarot. But let's start with the Rider Waite. So card number one, Again, the circumstances of our relationship. Card number two, what do I contribute to the relationship? Card number three, what does my partner contribute to the relationship? Card number four, what do I need to do or what can I do for the relationship? Card number five, what will my partner do for the relationship? And card number six is... How will our relationship continue? Okay, so just to show you how you could read this um, spread. Uh, so with these cards, this is how I would read this spread. So card number one, the circumstances of relationship. Well, the first thing I look at is I notice that all the cards are upright. Um, so I take that into consideration when I'm doing a reading. I look at how many cards are upright, how many cards are reversed, and then I look at the cards represented in the in this reading. So I see that there is one major arcana, uh, I'm sorry, two major arcana cards, uh, three swords, and a queen of cups. I notice there are no wands, there are no pentacles, and I take that into consideration when I'm doing a reading. Uh, for me, this would tell me that there is a lack of pentacles represent stability, uh, and wands, there's a lack of movement going forward. So in general, this would tell me that the relationship is stagnant. And for me, wands uh, represent conflict. And there is one um, water card, one chalice, which represents water. Uh, this would talk about emotions. And the only card that is showing an emotional thing is in position three and that's in relation to the partner. So I would suggest that looking at this reading, um, the person I'm reading for, whether it's me or someone else, uh, they hold a lot of tension. There's a lot of tension from their perspective, a lot of conflict from their perspective. And there were two major arcana cards which would indicate that whatever's happening right now is um, a very important thing, whether it's uh, my feelings or the person's feelings, it's an important thing. Um, whatever's going on in this relationship is sort of like going to affect the querent very profoundly. So then I begin with the first, the first position, which is the middle one. And uh, this is the circumstances of the relationship. So when I see the three of swords, it talks about maybe um, there is definitely conflict and this tells me that either the, me or the person I'm reading for has sort of uh, this struggle. You know, they're struggling with um, 
the relationship that there's two different perspectives that they're trying to understand or it could even mean that they maybe their heart isn't in it and is really engaged in another relationship uh, it could be that they're they have feelings for someone else they could even be seeing someone else um, or they are thinking about seeing someone else but there's definitely sort of they're standing at a crossroads and they're trying to understand two different perspectives in regards to the relationship so they sort of have a um, they're in it and they're not kind of thing uh, going on here so then the it could be a love triangle kind of thing so the second card what do I contribute to the relationship the ace of swords tells me that you know they're contributing the conflict they're contributing discord uh, whether it's me or someone I'm reading for if this relationship is going through a conflict and this this spread is conflict resolution this is sort of telling me that that whoever is the queer and is the one bringing the conflict into the relationship and this is mirrored with the the next card what does my partner contribute to the relationship? That's the Queen of, of Cups. And here I actually see court cards as personification of an, a, a specific person or a situation. And in this case, this tells me that this card represents this person's partner, whether it's me or someone else. And when I see the Queen of Cups, I see someone who is very mature, but someone who is really uh, reacting emotionally. They are someone who reacts with their heart. They may not be, be a very intellectual individual, they're more of a feeling person, so they respond to situations in an emotional sense. So they may be super sensitive, they may be picking up on the conflict and sort of reacting in a very conflicted way. They could be very dramatic. Uh, they could be an individual who uh, could be overflowing with emotions, too sensitive even. So if the first, if one of the partners is coming into the relationship with conflicted feelings, then this individual is responding very emotionally to it, which could create a very chaotic and dramatic and oversensitive situation in the relationship. And I would say in this sense there there's probably a lot of fighting going on a lot of arguing a lot of um you know uh not so pleasant situations a lot of drama in this relationship so then the next card is what do i need to do or what can i do for the relationship and this is where we see the moon and when i see this this suggests to me that whoever i'm reading for whether it's me or someone else uh, needs to what they can do in the relationship is reveal everything obviously the moon um, suggests that there are hints uh, there's like this elephant in the room that nobody's addressing uh, it could be lack of communication it could be keeping things secretive withholding information and just sort of being passive aggressive about things and this would tell me that whoever I'm reading for me or someone else the querent needs to be forthcoming needs to sort of reveal things be vulnerable be honest be open shed light in the shadows you know illuminate the things that they may have just been hinting at because they're afraid to hurt the queen of cups's feelings more um, in this situation because there's already discord there's already this tension the best thing for the querent to do is to reveal their feelings their thoughts uh, and how they are either involved or not involved or what's going on. They need to just be open and honest. Uh, card number five, what will my partner do for the relationship? I feel like when I see the six of swords here, this is talking about the partner sort of withdrawing a little bit. Um, maybe they're not being so honest. Where the queer needs to be more open, the their partner needs to sort of uh, withdraw a little bit. They're becoming too oversensitive about things. I feel like maybe they need to approach this with less emotion. You know, it's not all about them. It is about two people in this relationship. And it would be best for the partner to sort of take a step back, you know, um, untangle their own emotions, figure out what's their thoughts instead of just constantly responding to the querent. And if you, it sounds like that if the, the querent is being open and honest, the partner will do that because this position is what will my partner do. 
And the last card is how will our relationship continue? When I see the death card here, this suggests that it won't continue. Um, I see death as the end of something and the beginning of something else. Uh, this could be read as the relationship in this incarnation will change. Uh, it could change from maybe a love relationship to a friendship. Uh, maybe even this honesty could um, shift the dynamic of the relationship and you know project it into a new incarnation of the relationship. Maybe this honesty is what they both need and they can, you know, create this relationship in a way that'll work for both of them instead of just one of them. But honestly, I would read the death card in this situation that this, this relationship is gonna end. Uh, they're gonna break up. They're just not on the right page right now, especially if the querent is seeing someone else. So at this point, I would suggest that we look at this, uh, looking at the Green Witch Tarot to see if anything would change. If I would read this in any different way, uh, than how high I have read it or interpreted it at this time. Oh, I pulled the star and not the moon. Okay, so... Uh, so the only real difference I see here is the first card I would read a little differently and maybe the death card. So... The first card, instead of it necessarily being a love triangle, the three of Athames here talks to me about hesitancy. So it's still being hesitant about fully engaging in the relationship. So in this position, the circumstances of the relationship is that the querent isn't really engaged. They feel very hesitant. They are um, not, they're sort of, there's a fear in really walking through the door I mean, they see what's available to them, but they're not certain about what's inside that, that um, the building here. Um, they imagine what they think is there, but they're just hesitant. They're not in the threshold. They're looking, you know, from where they're standing safe outside. They're looking at what could be in there, sort of projecting what they think it is. So I feel like in this instance, um, I would say that the querent knows that there's something wrong in the relationship, that there's conflict, and they think they may know what the problem is, but they're not really sure, and they're not willing to become vulnerable enough to explore the relationship. So they're holding back for some reason. That's how I would read that. And then everything else, I'd basically read the same. The end card in the Green Witch Tarot is the Lord of Shades. And instead of being the death card symbolizing complete ending, I would suggest that in this deck, using this deck, if I saw this card, I would suggest that there is definitely a transformation that's going to take place in the relationship. Um, I don't necessarily think it's going to end. It definitely could end, but I feel like there's definitely some sort of transformation going to happen. With the Rider weight. I feel like the Rider Waite cards are very matter of fact, where the Green Witch Tarot here isn't as matter of fact, it's more gray. So the cards that might read um, as very matter of fact in the Rider Waite may not do so with the Green Witch. But that's how I would read this. This is Partnership Conflict Resolution, page 45 in the Tarot Spreads. So if you decide to try this Tarot Spread for yourself or with someone else, Please share how it went with you. Tell me what kind of results you had. Um, better yet, if you do a video, please share the link. I'd love to watch it. And until next time, I love you. Blessed be.